Let's get this hair going, y'all. She's talking with the blue futon. Out of the box, or out of the wall, or whatever you want to call it, we have. I can't flip this one, guys, because it's a thick one. Criterion Collection E2 Mama Tambien. I think I just said that correct. It's a uh, movie from Mexico, directed by Alfonso Cuaron. He did Birdman and The uh, Relevant with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's kind of a thick, it's a three disc with a book in it, as you can see. Uh, we'll kind of show you. Then it's actually a really thick book, actually. Like, really thick. One of the thickest books Criterion has ever done. But yeah, never seen this movie. Let's watch it and see what this sucker is about. So, EU Mama Tambien. I'm saying that completely wrong. I feel Spanish, I feel Portuguese, I feel French. So, language is not my strong suit. But this is a road trip movie based in Mexico where it's kind of a rich friend and an okay kind of poverty friend go on a road trip with a lady who is married to one of their cousins, but they get she gets cheated on and well she kinda of knows she gets cheated on and kinda of tells the story that it's been multiple times that she was like, Okay, I'll still marry him, but enough is enough. So they go on this road trip to find a lake or a beach called Heaven's Mouth. In the meantime, there's a lot of sexual escapades and simply sexual escapades on this road trip. So what about this movie? The movie is cool to watch. Like you could tell this is one of his one of his original movies because he did like The Princess's Bride, I think that's what it's called, a nineteen ninety five movie. He's done a Harry Potter. This was kind of in between Princess's Bride and Harry Potter, I believe. And this was kind of him going back to his roots because I watched a couple of the special features as well as the writer. It's actually more interesting about the directing and the writing price process of this movie which is actually very fascinating of how the writer found some dialogue of how who he's going to call this crew and how he finds his crew what they're going to call and it's actually kind of fascinating on that level but think about the movie the cinematography is nice how the movie looks is nice very good transfer i think this is a 4k transfer no it's only a 2k transfer but the transfer is actually really well since it was from 2001 i bet you the transfer still you know, it still was good, like Lost in America 85. It's going to be hard to do 4K. They probably could have done 4K with this one, but it still looks good. The acting is great. The story is actually fascinating for just a road trip movie about knowing who these people are and their escapades of kind of figure out who they are because the two boys are kind of, you want to call it high schoolers at this point, as well as the lady. She's a lot older at that level because in the very beginning, she's like, oh, I remember you being such a uh, baby. And there are interesting aspects of how the story is told. It is told by these two people, but there is a narrator who is basically kind of telling different parts that have kind of nothing to do with the story of the kids, but has something to do with the cultural level of Mexico at the time. I think that's actually really cool. Because you'll know when the narrator comes because it'll be like a two-second pause if you won't hear anything. It'll just be them doing stuff and the narrator will come on. About, you know protests in Mexico at this time and there's some good dialogue in this movie where the guy's like god the stupid traffic and the guy's like well they're allowed to do to protest because there are a lot of protests is their right the guy's like well yeah it's also my right to tell him to fuck off and it's like yeah it's protest you're you can protest and people could be like fuck you get out of my way I need to go and do traffic but then it actually does some good dialogue of like well it's not actually the protest of why there's traffic it's because there's an illegal immigrant in Mexico, who decided to run across the street because it saved six minutes to get to his actual destination, but a car hits him, and to actually identify the body, it took four days from someone from another country to actually realize who this person was. So it's actually very interesting in that level, where you think stuff like that would, you know, push the story to the side. It actually gives you a more experience of what is happening in Mexico at this time. It does this multiple times of like, you know, the main lady finding a doll with her name on it. But the reason for the doll is actually another child for another experience that happened later on and has happened in the past of what's happening they're seeing right now. And other characters they meet along this line through Mexico, like, you know, actually making it to the beach. That's kind of a funny scene. But it's the very end where it's very interesting of what happens in this sexual escapade of how the story ends. It makes sense. But it's very weird. The sex in this movie is very, very X-rated. I'll put it that way. Uh, there's a lot of sex. Which is fine. It's whatever. But it goes places. It goes weird places of 
It serves full blown male nudity and female nudity. It's a diving board scene, which I found very weird. It's a diving board scene and the very end sex scene. It turned me off on some levels of like, do, does that really happen in the real world? Because everything happens in the real, real world except those two scenes. The last scene on the ladder, I could maybe understand. But it was a diving board scene and where they take it, I was like, huh, okay, very interesting. So in lamest terms, this is not a movie to watch with your parents at all, in my opinion. Like, not at all. But that's just my opinion. But overall, the story works. It really works of how people wanted to tell the story of these kids, but as well as the story of Mexico, what's happening outside of these three in their little world. Yeah, they're in the real world, but it kind of shows you what's happening in the outside world, what's happening to the president of Mexico, what's happening to everything like that. So it's actually very interesting where you actually think of, you know, you'll get other countries, what's happening in other countries, and you're like, you know what? Are we really that different, like, in different timelines in the world? Because everyone has their downfalls. Everyone has their problems. And if everyone starts to realize that, realize everyone has a bad past, let's just change the future for good. Let's do some reform. But everyone thinks we have to burn everything down. Like, this movie kind of tells it that way of, like, it's, life changes. We don't need to burn the system down. But it's actually a relevant story with a lot of sex. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, that's how I'm going to say. It's a relevant story with a lot of sex. So, e mom, e two mama tambien, which I'm saying completely wrong, will receive a 4 out of 5 of futons, which equals to 80%. So, let's see the correction news scores gave this one. Actually, I'm going to change my score. I'm changing my score. A four and a half out of five of food is at 90%. Something changed. Me thinking about the story of my past and stuff that happened with the actual story. Maybe you could call the sex stuff as well. But some of the stuff now thinking about it, it's not as awkward when I just actually have a bigger picture. Let's put it that way. Four and a half. Ninety percent. So it's the correction news scores gave this one. So the critics at ninety two percent with hundred and thirty eight and the audience score at eighty eight percent with sixty nine thousand eight eight seven seven eight. Sorry. And here's critic and says a road movie that's not only sexy but intelligent as well. I have to agree. The writing's great. I like how it looked. I like the story. For an hour and 50 minute movie, kept me intrigued the whole time. The special features on the Criterion Collection are amazing. So anyway, do you agree with my 90, 92, or 88? Wow. Change that to Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm nothing is Blue Futon. Toby, Blue Futon. Just think we're watching. Have a great day. But anyway, peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah, this is one to search out and get. This really is out. It's one of the better Criterion Collections for style, substance, and look. <laughs>